Hey everyone, today is Thursday, August 19, 2010, and this is a Zero News update from the road, quite literally. I'm on my way to a job site right now, but I wanted to uh, make a comment about the, this video that seems to be creating quite a bit of buzz on YouTube right now. Uh, it is the 2004 Dodge pickup that uh, Free Energy Concepts claims they are running on 100% HHO. Um, I'm seeing a lot of arguments in both directions and I'm trying to play devil's advocate a little bit here. A lot of people have argued that the amount of gas that they see being produced by the reaction chamber does not appear to be uh, 50 or even 30 liters per minute based on the videos that we've seen on YouTube. Uh, I made the point that uh, 30 liters per minute at 30 PSI would really look like 10 liters per minute because of the increased pressure on the cell. Um, if you put a cell under vacuum it really looks much more violent than it is and if you put pressure or if you allow pressure to build up in the cell it looks much more tame than it really is. The thing that I'm wondering is whether or not they are allowing the pressure to build up in the small reaction chamber first and then releasing it once it is reached <clears throat> once it is reached 60 psi into the larger reservoir tank that would allow or that would keep the appearance of the reaction chamber very very tame while still producing very large amounts of HHO just throwing just throwing it out there um, I haven't seen the numbers and unfortunately I will not be able to be there on the 21st I would love to be there until I can see it myself and put my own test equipment I won't say for certain one way or the other but let's not completely discredit the possibility that he may actually be running it on water and if so Bravo. Bravo, sir. Please post the plans and uh, show us the modifications to your pulse width modulator. Tell us what frequencies, how to regulate it, all those things. Please release that information now. Don't let it be suppressed. By the way, I also stopped at the alternator shop that I bought a new regulator for my alternator from and uh, the gentleman there was very kind put it on the test bench for me turns out that the alternator is not bad at all apparently I'm getting some slippage on the coupling mechanism that I'm using from the Briggs & Stratton engine to the alternator so that when I put it under load uh, the RPMs of the alternator is dropping below where it needs to be to produce the voltage so I need to find some sort of uh, uh, one of those uh, splined coupling rubber coupling mechanisms that have the three teeth on each side and uh, pick one of those up so that I get a, a good solid coupling from the shaft to the motor to the alternator. I hope you're enjoying the series. Please, if you are enjoying the series, subscribe to my channel. Please tell your friends about it. And uh, let's, all, let's all get moving forward, alright? That's it for now. Zero fossil fuel from the road. Everybody take care. Peace.